This is Green Wave Hockey on Frontier Community Access Television. Hi and welcome once again to the Collins Moylan Arena. Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here with you. Tonight the Green Wave take on the Chicopee Comp Colts. Right here it's going to be senior night. So a lot of festivities, a great time is ahead. Uh, we're going to talk to the Green Wave head coach Adam Bouchard about tonight's game. Bouch, welcome. Hey Doc. Uh, Green Wave on a tremendous roll once again. Uh, six game winning streak currently. Big win last night in Westfield against the Southwick Rams. What are you liking about the, the team these last couple of weeks? You know, uh, we come to work every day, which is really important. And being, to be, being able to run our three lines and that extra set of wingers, all six of our D, uh, has really been a key point to how we've been able to come out the second half of the season. You know, we have a lot to finish still. Uh, we're, only about, we're only 15 games in the regular season, so we're really excited to get our game going on tonight and come away with two more points. Sounds good. Now, you talk about the line combinations and how everybody has synced up really well. Uh, let's talk for a minute about the special teams. Power play has done really well, but that PK, oh my gosh. Yeah, you know, our power play started off the year 0 for 10 the first two games. Uh, now we sit at 28% on the year, which is a phenomenal number. But as you stated, our penalty kill, uh, if you look at what numbers are, I believe we're uh, 57 kills out of 58 penalties. As astonishing. Pro teams don't even do that. Y yeah, they, um, this penalty kill really takes pride in what they do. And when you talk to the penalty killers, uh, it's kind of funny because not too many players get excited to go on the PK. But our eight players, they, they eat it up. They really do. So we're going to keep the same line combinations, same pairings tonight? Yeah, you know, we're going to enjoy senior night for sure. You know, we're going to, we're going to celebrate our 12 graduating seniors uh, prior to the game. But then it's business as usual. You know, we're going to come out here and play our hockey game and try to come away with two points. Awesome. We're looking forward to it. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Doc. All right. We're going to be back with our friends from Bear Country, Chris Collins and Todd Howe, starting lineups right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Ariston. Ariston Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheswick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield.
Here at Collins Blown Arena, Chris Collins, Todd Howard, studio producer is Dave Reno. Moments away from the start of this one, Greenfield Green Bay come, I mean, to take on the Chicopee Comp Colts. And as Todd Howe alluded to earlier, there is not a hotter team in Western Massachusetts high school hockey right now than the Green Wave. Check out some of these numbers. Unscored upon in their last four games. That's 12 periods of high school hockey. They have outscored their opposition 20 to nothing. That's not too bad, Todd Al, at any level of hockey, much less high school. No, that, that's a great streak, and, and they always say defense wins championships, so right now uh, it'd be interesting to watch just how much Riley Drew is standing on his head. We did the last game, which was a shutout against South Hadley, and he made some great saves in that game. The uh, Greenfield kind of handles the offensive side of the puck really well, and that kind of helps their defensive game, too. And another good thing that, that Greenfield is doing is they're scoring goals in bunches, but it's not all just one line or one player. They really are spreading around the scoring a lot. And I think that that bodes well, that kind of depth bodes well, certainly going into the playoffs. Absolutely. If you can put three lines out there against anybody and know you're going to be down in the offensive zone most of the time. And that third line, I mean, when I coached back in uh, 2008, we put the third line out there, we were like, look, we don't need you guys to score, break even. And their third line is putting the puck in the net. Exactly, and that is a big, big thing. You know, it's a big plus for any team to have that kind of depth. But it is a senior-laden team. I think a lot of them are thinking, tune up for the playoffs, but the, at the level they're playing right now, this is like, they're in the zone right now. And if they can continue this all the way through, they've got Amherst coming up in two weeks. There's still a lot of regular season hockey to play, but they're gonna go high, I think, in terms of seedings. And it wouldn't be surprise me at all to see this team come home with a Western Mass Championship. On the Chicopee Comp side of the puck, there are a couple of players to look out for in this particular roster that Greenfield will want to be aware of to keep that un unscored upon streak in line. 
Yeah, Dylan Seymour is leading the team right now with nine goals and two assists. And behind him you have, and I know I'm going to mess this name up, Jacob, I'm going to go, Jacob Gerard. that's how I would say it. And then Langlois is the third one, he's got five goals, so between nice. them they've got, they've got 17 goals. Yeah, and you know, they can put the puck in, even though their record does not indicate, I mean, they're, they're five and seven, as you said. And uh, so, again, you throw the records out and, and you get on the ice, but I would think Greenfield, if they keep playing the way they have been, are not going to have much problem taking these guys out. Yeah, they want to, but they're also playing with a desperate team. I don't think Comp can go down tonight, go to 5-8-1, and, and still have the playoffs as a possibility. They win tonight, they're 6-7-1, they're only one game out of the uh, postseason. We mentioned the Greenfield line shifts that have been going on, and it's really interesting. You know, the first time we did a game here, our first regular season broadcast, it was pretty much a line centered by Barnes and a line centered by Brian Bauman. But they've mixed lines up a little bit. Sometimes you see Barnes and the noise skating with Aiden Roach. Uh, certainly, you know, Bauman on the power play with O'Sullivan and Roach is a likelihood. And, of course, Greenfield was very, very good in the power play the last time we saw them. Yeah, they have a solid power play. Even even on five on five, they cycle so well. They keep the puck away from the box, and you throw the power play in there. They're slipping a the guy in the middle, and, and they're really taking over. I, I'm really excited. I, I think this is a great team. I think they have two players on this team who were solidly in the discussion for the Kevin Major Award, which is the D3A MVP. You know, you've got Brian Bauman uh, killing it on the score sheet, and you got Riley Drew not letting the puck behind him. Absolutely, and let's talk about some of the role players on this team as well. We've seen good performances by Porter Clancy, Sammy Knight, uh, and Cam Rice has also had some, some quality moments out there. And let's not forget the, the defensemen, Jacob Bryant, MJ Pollen, Mike McGoldrick. Uh, those three back there have really been excellent, as has Bowie Harris. Yeah, I, I like to see it when they're able to slide the puck over to Jacob Bryant just to see how hard that shot's going to go. He's easily got one of the hardest shots in Western Mass. Starting lineups being introduced now for both teams. Chickabee Comp has been introduced. Let's go down and catch the introduction of the Greenfield team. Number 21, Riley Drew gets the start in the Nets. We'll probably see the other senior goalie at some point, depending on how this game goes. All right. Long pregame show, long festivities. Now it's time to play some hockey. From Collins Boyle Arena. Greenfield Green Wave and the Chicopee Comp Colts. Yeah, this is one of those games. That it's kind of funny looking over at the bench. I see there's going to be at least six Greenfield coaches. We got 12 seniors in the game. I mean, there's not much room for anyone else in that bench. <laughs> Absolutely, and they have the posters of each of the seniors up on the back glass behind the Chicopee Comp net, which is a nice, nice touch. It is. I wonder if uh, the French has had anything to do with that because they see a picture of Nick French up there twice. <laughs> And Greenfield has three goalies dressed for this game. But Riley Drew will get the start. I mean, we may see at some point the other senior goaltender in the game. Green Wave coming out after a quick chair at their own bench, picking up the pregame pucks. It's going to be Riley Drew in one net and Victor Canavan for Chicopee Comp in the other net for the Colts. And we're going to start off with Savoy centering O'Sullivan and Roach with McGoldrick and Kevin Bauman on the back line. So another unusual combination for the coaching staff led by Adam Bouchard. The game is on, as Jack Edwards would say. Puck controlled at the far boards by Greenfield. Now it's up at the blue line of Greenfield. Now, quick four check, it's going to be offside as bearing in was Seymour just one step ahead of everything. 
Face off at the Greenfield blue line. Savoy on the draw. And a backhanded up hit, and it's knocked into the Greenfield end of the ice. McColdrick back to get it behind his own net. Mike McColdrick. The Franklin Tech up the boards it goes to Sean O'Sullivan playing a left wing, and he wings it out to Chicopee Comp's blue line. Now O'Sullivan on the four check left side, and this is going to be offside again, this time on Greenfield, and they'll face it off at the Chicopee Comp blue line. The entire game almost played in the center of the ice right now, but uh, it's only 30 seconds in, and, and both teams look ready to go. It's a good start. Bauman now is going to center Sammy Knight on the right. And Porter Clancy, excuse me, Porter Clancy on the right, center on the left. Face off controlled by Greenfield. Jacob Bryant now with it. Bryant being hassled by two comp players. And comp's able to keep it in, up the boards. And Greenfield clears. Snapped right back in. Bowie Harris now behind the Greenfield net. Up the boards, looking for Knight. Back to the point. Snap shot blocked in front. And Bryant's gonna skate it out. Here comes Jake Bryant, he's got some wheels. Up the right wing. Bryant into comp territory, goes into the corner, stops, and puts it back to the point. A wrist shot by Bowie Harris, tipped, and saved by Canavan as it was deflected on the way through. And comp controls it, Langlois scoots it out. Bryant wings it far boards. Bauman now on the left side, four check. Bauman trying to dig it after it. It's pushed to the wall by Chickabee Comp. Cross ice pass at the point. And comp's gonna skate it out to center ice. Now, fresh out of the bench is Derek Lenoy, who slams it back down in the Chickabee territory. Headman pass looking to set up Joshua King. And it's cleared up, but not out by Greenfield. Now, Bryant puts a hit on Gerard. Backhand pass to the slot. Quick move saved by Riley Drew as bearing in was Dylan Seymour. Nice play by Seymour. Went really between the two defensemen with a little soft pass and Drew was ready for it. Tried to slide it behind him, but Drew kept the pads on the ice. Face off to the right of Riley Drew with 13.09 to go in period number one. No score on the scoreboard. A little sloppy to start for both sides, I think. Alana just dump it in. Shot from the high slot is deflected into the corner by Chickamy Comp. And a wrist shot had eyes. That was by Nicholas Farrell at the right point. And slapped back in by the Colts. All the way around to the near boards. O'Sullivan there with it. Battling with King. Was back down behind the net. Greenfield kind of hemmed in right now. They come up the left side. And still battling with it. Roach now. Roach. Roach tries to go up the, far, the near wall and it's cleared to center ice. Slapped right back in though. Seymour punches it into the corner. Comp wants a line change. Here comes the wave. Roach up through center ice. Has O'Sullivan with him. Roach slings it down behind the comp net. Pushed up the boards by Langloy. And kept in at the point by Kevin Bauman. Down behind the comp net. And they try to wing it up the wall. And they break it out. But Bauman relieves the comp player with the puck. And swings through the neutral zone. Tries to dump it in. Blocked. And cleared back out by the Colts. Back into Greenfield territory. MJ Paulin. Up the boards to Bauman. Bauman takes a hit from behind. No call. And puck swings behind the net. As Chickaby Comp looks to clear. Back to the point. MJ Pollen with a wrist shot. Goes wide of the net with the far board. Bauman after it. Tried to feed it back. And it goes all the way down to Riley Drew, who will stop it and leave it for MJ Pollen. Pollen stops behind his net. Up the far boards. Now he cuts back away from containment and slams it around the left wing side. Battle at the near wall. Colby Spear is after it for Chickabee Comp. Now Gerard comes away with it, he's broken up. And here comes Kevin, uh, Brian Bauman rather, skating out. Greenfield wants a line change. Bauman one on four, short side shot, and a save by Canavan. And he's able to cover it up. And they'll face it off with 11.07 to go in period one. Watching this game right now, I just think both sides are a little sloppy. We've watched Greenfield, uh, this is our third game this year. I watched some other games, and right now they're not on their game, and, and a lot of the play has been in Drew's end of the ice. Face off to the right of Canavan, no score. And this is Barnes on the draw, and the puck is pushed out into the Greenfield end. Bowie Harris back to get it for Greenfield. Bowie back up the boards, looking for Lenoy. Now Bowie wings it around the other side. 
And Pruzak on the right wing has it. Shane Pruzak swings back around the net to the left side and is able to clear it up and out. And the puck is lifted up and out of the rink. And they'll face it off just outside the Greenfield Blue Line with 10.42 to go. And this is that line we we're talking about. You look down there, there's not a lot of big guys, but Lenois, Barnes, and Pruzak have really carried the play well for themselves. And they're going to get a quick shift change as O'Sullivan comes back out. That's the O'Sullivan, Savoy, and Roach line. And Puck is dropped into the Greenfield zone. Harris swings behind the net. Bowie Harris loses it in the high slot. Dangerous. Puck is forced to the far board. Shot is saved by Drew. Back to the point. Quick wrist shot is blocked. And Bryant is able to push it up and out. Three on two break. Bryant has it. Bryant with a wrist shot. A save by Canavan. Rebound comes out and is cleared by Chickapee Comp. Now on a four check. This is Dylan Seymour. Seymour at the dot. Shot saved Drew. Rebound bounces loose and is cleared out of the zone. And this is going to be icing. They'll bring it down and face it off with 10.01 to go. Chickapee Comp's giving them the game. I don't know how else to put it. They've uh, gotten the best opportunity so far. I think Greenfield had one scoring chance, and I'd give Chickabee Comp three. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. Carson Langley will be on the draw. And Bauman is out there on the face off as well. Face off controlled by Greenfield. Slammed around the boards. Pong goes after it. Shot through a screen and a save by Drew. That one had eyes. That was Nick Farrell to let that one go. That shot was right in front of us. We could see it going the whole way. I don't know how it got to Drew, and it almost snuck in. If it just happened to hit him, really, he didn't see it coming. Face off to the left of Drew. And draw, controlled by Chickabee Comp. In the high slot after it is Carson Langloy. Goes back to the point, wrist shot, tipped through, blocked, and knocked down by McColdrick. Swings the net. Back to the point, shot blocked. Another shot and a save by Drew, and he'll hang on. That was Farrell again. So right now, Greenfield trapped in their own end, and a rare spot for them to be in. Yeah, and you just have right after that save, you see Drew shaking his head like, what is going on? They're, they're shooting fire shots at him. It's like a shooting gallery. Well, you got to wonder, maybe the long pregame show, maybe they came there a little bit cold right now. But Greenfield's going to have to start doing a little better job of moving the puck out of their own end. Draw goes behind the net. Pollen is after it. MJ stops. Went up the board looking for Lenoy. Kept in, though, by Gerard. Back to the point. Wrist shot by Farrell's blocked the far, the near boards, rather. And Lenoy tries to clear and is able to. Puzak after it now. And they dump it back in behind Riley Drew. Most of this period so far have been playing in Greenfield's end. Pollen falls down behind the net. Going over to help out is Barnes as they push it up the wall to Pruzak. Pruzak's pass. Intercepted by Comp, shot goes out of the rink. So, some sloppy passing, Todd Howe. A dangerous situation there. Yeah, I, you have to look at it and just wonder. Starting the game 20 minutes after, it's a great event, but it is just tougher to keep those legs going. We get here early, we see the kids warming up outside the bench. Well, they had to start 20 minutes after that, even that warm up, so. Takes off the left of Riley Drew, 8.37 to go in period one, no score, and Comp has had the better of it in this first period. Carson Langloy now over to Stefanik. Shot goes wide of the net. Lewis goes back to the point. And Comp keeps it in. Lewis now going for it in the corner. Battling over there with Roach. Or excuse me, with uh, Savoy. Big hit behind the net. O'Sullivan now on the left wing side. Greenfield trying to get it out of the zone. Having a really tough time as Comp is swarming. Now penalty coming up as Bryant. Drop the hammer on Lewis, and we're going to have our first penalty of the game, and Jake Bryant is going to sit for two minutes. Looks like the call's going to be interference. Either that or roughing. He really put the, put the hammer on him. So it's a power play for Comp for two minutes. And I think Bryant is a strong strong background for that usual, usual penalty kill for Greenfield. Based off the left of Drew. Gerard on the draw, and it's cleared up but not out. Farrell pushes it up ahead. Now Greenfield's able to clear it down all the way to Canavan. This is the Colts' first opportunity on the power play. We'll see what they can do. 
Pass up the left side to David Gerard. Headman pass to Dylan Seymour. Slides it in front. Drew knocks it to the corner. Kevin Bauman is after it. Kept in by Comp. Quick shot wide of the net through a screen. Comes to the near boards. Dylan Seymour after it. Dylan Seymour now. Back to the point. To Stefanik. Back to Seymour. Short shot and a save by Drew. And Greenfield able to clear it out. Nick Farrell back to get it. The big defenseman for Chicago Comp. Headband pass for Josh King. And it's going to be offside is going to be the call. They'll face it off with 7.35 to go in the period. 1.11 to go on the man advantage. Chicopee Comp controlling the play. Not getting a lot of quality shots on this power play yet. But they've certainly kept it in the zone. They've had a couple times to try and ice and Greenfield just hasn't been able to get it done. They're facing off actually at center ice. As I'm pretty sure they call it a high stick there. And Tanner Fournier with it now. And it's slapped up and into the Greenfield zone. Skips over the stick of Bowie Harris all the way to Drew. And Stefanik was bearing down. A couple guys in front of that getting to know each other on each team. Yeah, McGoldrick is over there. Talking some smack along with Bowie Harris. Faceoff will be to the left of Riley Drew. And they're going to have to, Mikey's going to come off. And Kevin Bauman is out there. And I'm going to face it off to the right of Drew, it looks like. And on the draw for Greenfield is Savoy. Won by Comp. Wrist shot tipped just wide. And Comp swings around. Langley on a forecheck now behind the net. Harris bumping. And it goes up and out as it's cleared by Savoy. 42 seconds to go on the man advantage for Chicopee Comp. And there's a steal. And a nice play by Will Height. Forces it down behind the Chickabee Comp net. And Will Height again. It's a shot on the short side of Canavan. Comes back around. 20 seconds to go on the power play. That man passed too far ahead. Kevin and Brian Bauman slams it right back down into the Chicopee zone. Great penalty kill by Will Height. Headman pass. Bowie Harris is able to field it at the blue line and push it into comp territory. And that will do on the penalty to Bryant. So no harm, no foul. Comp now bearing in. That's Seymour who slams it down behind the net. Greenfield back at full strength. Bryant out of the box. Headman pass deflected back in by King. And Harris slams it up the far boards and out. Big hit on Pruzak, and the door came open. That was that hit was enough to knock the door open. That's the hardest hit we've seen tonight. <laughs> Face off will be to the left of Canavan. 5:08 to go in the period. Roach is out there along with Bauman and O'Sullivan. So that first unit reunited, and Adam Bouchard tries to get something going for the wave. Face off one by Chicken Comp and cleared out of the zone. That man passed for King. King broken up with the blue line. And they slam it back into the Greenfield zone. Over to get it is McColdrick. McColdrick goes cross ice to Roach. Roach up left side. Roach cycles in deep. Slides it in front. Blocked. O'Sullivan now after it. O'Sullivan cycling it back down low to Roach. Roach to O'Sullivan. Shot wide. Bang, bang. And the rebound goes to the far boards. Roach slides it out in front. Nobody there. McColdrick slams it back down behind the net. Bauman on the four check. Backhands it out of the corner to Roach. Roach to Bauman. Back to the point. The Harris. Harris flips it down into the corner. Bauman after it still. And Kopp is able to clear it to center ice. Now a big hit at the blue line. Puck goes into the corner. Skips over McColdrick's stick. And Chickabee comes away with a big hit behind the play. And O'Sullivan now up the boards. O'Sullivan up the left side. O'Sullivan shot. Saved by Canavan. Rebound goes wide. Best bit of the night so far for Greenfield. As O'Sullivan bore down. He had a two on no. He had a choice. And I think uh, after the save, I actually think it hit the pipe. That man pass. Barnes now with it. Barnes out there with Lenoy. Broken up and cleared out by Comp. Barnes steals it back though at the blue line. Barnes beats one man down the corner. Barnes trying to slide in front to Illinois. Comes around the back. Back to the point. Skips over Harris's stick, but he's able to keep it in the zone. And Comp skates it out. 
That man pass, one on three. That's Stefanik now broken up. And it goes back into the Greenfield zone. It's going to be offsides with 4.15 to go in the period. Greenfield's best chances on those two shifts. They had the top two lines come out, and they really played well in the offensive zone. Good opportunities by uh, really going end to end for each player. I'm not sure uh, what the discussion here is, though. Uh, I'm not sure either, but there's a little discussion over at the Chicopee bench. Faceoff is going to be down in the Chicopee zone. Yeah, it looks it's like a penalty. The, yeah, I, I thought this might happen. Well, I noticed the uh, shift change for Chicopee Comp. They might have had too many men on the ice. I think that's the call. Okay, that, then it's a bench minor penalty on Chicopee Comp. So, uh, gold opportunity here for Greenfield with a two minute power play with 4.15 to go. Now, Bryant at the left point. Bryant circles out in the slot. Bryant still with it. Shot goes wide. Fireboards will Sullivan after it. Greenfield on a power play. Behind the net, O'Sullivan. Roach after it, loses control. Bryant now with it at the right left point. Bryant lets it go. Saved by Canavan, knocked down, rebound goes back to the point. And it cycles back down low to O'Sullivan. Uh, Roach actually, Roach. Behind the net to Bauman, Bauman. Tries to slide it in front, goes all the way back to the point. To Bowie Harris, who cycles it back down low to Roach. 120 to go in the man advantage. Roach looking for Bauman goes over his stick to the near boards. And pinching in and keeping it in is Bryant, but Comp's able to clear. Chickabee Comp has actually an aggressive uh, penalty kill. They're not just simply playing the box and letting Greenfield coast around the outside, playing their cycling. And it's really uh, impacting his power play. Bryant now. Top of the slot. Slap shot wide. Oh, he let that one go. Just missed. Rebound comes around and Comp's able to clear it out. Into Greenfield territory. McColder back to get it. Mikey tries to go cross ice and does to Barnes. To Lenoy. Lenoy with it. Lenoy. Tough angle shots. Just wide of the net. Rebound comes around to the far side. Kept in. And behind the net it goes to the near boards and cleared up and out. 31 seconds to go on the power play for Greenfield. 243 to go in the period. Now we have a whistle. And that shouldn't have been icing because it was. I'm not sure what the whistle is. is I, ha it? I have a feeling, this, this is me playing my guesswork again, I think there's someone in the stands with a whistle that's starting to impact the play. Well, I heard a whistle go off when they were behind the net earlier. But they're going over to talk it over, the ref is. Faceoff will be at the blue line. So they're going to face it off at the blue line. The Barnes line is out there. And puck goes down behind Riley Drew. Kevin Bauman back to get it for the wave. Stops up the right side to Pruzak. Pruzak skates it out of the zone. Pruzak into the chicken be comp into the building. Pruzak now after it in the corner. Gets some help from Barnes. Barnes swings behind the net. Barnes backhander short side. Puck loose in front. And it's forced into the corner. Penalty is over. And now the wave with it. Lenoy bumped off the puck. Comp's able to clear. 2.04 to go in the period. McColdrick back with it for Greenfield. Dumps it in on Canavan, knocks it wide of the net. Barnes on a four check, and Comp's able to clear to center ice. O'Sullivan knocks it back into his own end. Bowie Harris has to go back and get it. Bowie slams it around the boards, looking for Bauman. Bauman can't tip it out. Kept in by Robinson. Now it's cleared. And backhanded back in and right back out. Headman pass to Roach on the right wing. Roach, shot goes wide of Canavan. Comes all the way around and is tipped out by Chickabee Comp. Back after it is O'Sullivan. Looking for Bauman in front of the penalty bench. And it's back into the Comp zone. Seymour tries to backhand it up the wall and gets it out. And here's a break. Headman pass to Gerard. That's David Gerard. Gerard signs it in front. Nobody home. Deflected away by the Greenfield defenseman and skated out. It was Bowie Harris on the left wing forecheck. Minute to go. Bowie Harris. High wrist shot. Blocked wide. Harris after it takes a bump in the corner. O'Sullivan cycling behind the net trying to knock it loose. 
up to the near boards. Lewis trying to backhand it out. And O'Sullivan steals it into the corner. And loses control just briefly. Back to the point, Bryant. Bryant, high slot, wrister, saved by Canavan. Rebound goes wide. 27 seconds left. Good flurry here for Greenfield in the latter stages. Bryant now lifts it over to Barnes. Goes back to Kevin Bauman. Now Bryant, a wallet pass into Chickabee Com territory. The Colts will reset it behind their own net. Nick Farrell clears it up and out to center ice. Looking for Dylan Seymour. Seymour, one on three, goes down. Falls down, no, no call. Nine seconds left in the period. Goes back in uh, behind Drew. And that is how the first period will end. We played one period from Collins Loyal Arena at the end of one period of play. Greenfield nothing, Chicken Become nothing. We'll take a break, come back, and talk about this first period. This is Hockey Night in Greenfield, brought to you by Gil Oren Farrell Insurance. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Ariston. Ariston Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Ariston.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Back out here at Collins Loan Arena, Hockey Night in Greenfield, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. I also want to thank some of our other sponsors making the broadcast possible. Sawicki Real Estate, CarQuest Auto Parts of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne Falls, Booskis Flooring, Greenfield Public Schools, Albert B. Allen Insurance, O'Sullivan and Bray, Attorneys in Law, the Greenfield Police Association, Penfield & Sons, Smith Keller Funeral Home, Alex Siano CPA, and Sandry Energy. Of course, this game is uh, part of a big weekend here in Greenfield. It's Winter Carnival weekend. If you haven't had a chance, and you're in the area, you might want to swing down Main Street and check out the ice sculptures. Some really nice work this year. And this is always a fun weekend, a lot of events, but the ice sculptures in the last few years have been one of the real treats for people. You gotta love it when Baby Yoda shows up in Greenfield. Right, Baby Yoda, and this year they're lighting the things properly. They're in the daytime; it's just ice, but at night they put the lights underneath. So Baby Yoda's nice and green. There's a bunch of other ones with different colors, so it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, of course, tomorrow is the big K9 keg pull, which is happening at uh, Beacon Field, and there's a bunch of other events as well. So uh, hockey, uh, hockey night in Greenfield, not part of Winter Carnival, but certainly a fun part of a big weekend here in Greenfield. Both teams stay to their benches, and uh, Greenfield will move left to right to start this second period. What do you suppose the message was from the coach in the locker room? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing two words, wake up. Yeah. And then after that, uh, I think he's going to set the tone early. I, I think you will see a strong start to the second period by Greenfield. Wouldn't be bad to see Greenfield pick up some of the hitting as well. It wasn't a lot of physicality in that first period. And certainly when they played South Hadley, that was what sort of got them jump-started as well. They started throwing some bodies around. Anytime you struggle with the puck, that's the best way to get back in the game, get your head back in the game. Just rattle a few heads, rattle a few boards. So they're going to start the Roach-O'Sullivan line. And it's going to be back to the original starting five. Adam Savoy is going to center this line again. With Roach on the right and O'Sullivan on the left, and we are underway in the second period. Face-off battled for O'Sullivan now. Bangs it into Chickabee Comp territory on the left wing. Follows the play. O'Sullivan bumped. Now Roach comes by and picks it up. Roach behind the net. Spins back away from containment. Roach swings the net, slides it in front. Nobody home. Savoy was not there for that pass. Puck pushed to the far boards. Savoy now pushing it. 
battling. And Comp is able to knock it behind the net. That King. And now Murray backhands it up the boards. Roach keeps it cycling down low. Comp comes away, clears it up, and out of the zone. Slammed right back in, skated right back out by Chickabee. This is Murray now. Slams it down behind the greenfield net. And Kevin Bauman now bumping it up to O'Sullivan. Now Bauman tries to head man to his brother Brian. And he can't control. Face out, the puck is at center ice, knocked into the greenfield zone. And McGoldrick skates away from containment. Pass in front, deflects to the far wall. And Comp's able to knock it back down low again. Quick line change for Chickabee Comp. And Roach now, it's not there for a while. Roach loses control on the high slot. Skated back out by Carson Langloy. Dumps it in behind Riley Drew. On a four check is Daniel Stefanik with Kevin Bauman. Now Stefanik and Bauman dueling again in the corner. Bauman skips it out. And it comes all the way down to Canavan who touches it. No icing is the call. Robinson now trying to go up the boards. Puck hemmed in the corner. And it squirts behind the net. Will Height now on a four check. Will Height battling. Tries to slide in front. High slot. Bauman shot. Couldn't get good wood. Back in and rebound went wide. So a good bid there, but Bauman just could not get a, get a handle on it. Yeah, that was a nice play. Just he, he had the possibility the goalie was down and not ready. Now Bauman on a four check on the tip in by Porter Clancy. Bauman swings behind the net, battling with Robinson. Over to the far boards. Tanner Fournier trying to knock it loose. Will Height digging. Matt Will has been hustling tonight. Bauman now behind the net. Swings it around, goes back to the point. Bryant shot, gloved down by Canavan. He covers, face off will be to his left with 12.31 to go in the second. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find out from the statistician. I'd like to know how many shots Bryant has on net tonight. I think it's a lot more than he usually does. At least I think five nice that I counted. See. I've counted at least five. Yeah, that's, all, that's gotta be half their shot. So uh, he's playing well. No one's getting by him defensively and he's putting the offense on notice too. Barnes line is out there. Cam Rice on the right point. Out there with McGoldrick, face off. Forced to the boards and skipped out by Comp. Rice now. Trying to push it up. Broken up by Seymour in front of the bench. The penalty bench. Shot on Drew is a save. And Lenoy now going after it. Puck is loose in the Greenfield zone. And kept in. Pruzak couldn't get a hold of it. Now it's backhanded back up the boards. Lenoy after it. Hemmed in on the near wall on the Greenfield end of the Rink backhanded now into the corner. And Greenfield trying to skip it out. Kept in by Comp. Nicely done. This is Seymour. Trying to slide it in front. It's forced back to the boards. Nick Farrell in there for Comp. It takes a shot in the high slot. It goes to the far board. Slammed around by Cam Rice. A little frustration there. And they finally clear the zone. Mason Whithead down to get it for Comp. Greenfield on the line change. Training pass broken up by Barnes. O'Sullivan now back out there with fresh legs. Barnes battling for it at the dot. And it's skated out by Seymour. And Seymour knocks it into the Greenfield zone. And cleared out. Roach now. Headband to O'Sullivan. Now back to Roach in the high slot. Roach skating around. Shot goes wide. Savoy now cycling down low gets knocked down and we got a penalty coming up it sounds like or it looks like Let's see what they get or do they call a penalty or do they call it? I'm not sure it looked like he pointed at a penalty but I'm not sure what the whistle was for but a penalty could have been called in that corner Greenfield had a man down on all fours and he was uh, pushed down cross check and that's what I thought the call was but we're going to continue playing face off the right of Canavan Bauman back to Bauman at the point. That's Kevin Bauman. Shot blocked. Brian now on the far wall. Trying to knock it loose. Comp's able to clear it up and out of the zone. Battle for it in front of the team's benches. And Bauman back in his zone end. That's Kevin after it. As Hump. Comp's got him hemmed in now. A little bit of a hit behind the net by MJ Paulin. Greenfield swings. It up and out. 
the center ice. Ryan Bauman now blocks the clearing pass, goes behind the net. Brian swings it around, back to the point. Pollen tees it up, score! MJ Pollen with a rocket from the left point, and it's 1-0. Great pay by Bauman, Brian Bauman brought the puck into the zone, went behind the net. He was looking to get in front of it, didn't have anything, kept his head up, saw the point man open, nice low shot, hit the left post, goes in the net, and Griefeld jumps up 1-0, and that might be enough to get this team going. And they throw the rubber chicken on the ice. MJ Pollen took the shot. We assume he got credit for the goal. And we'll find out the announcement. If there's a lot of traffic in front of that net, wouldn't be surprised if it was tipped. Face off at center ice, one nothing. Wave with the lead. Face off control by Chickaby Comp. Up the boards it goes. Josh King on a four check, knocks it into Greenfield territory. Bowie Harris back to get it behind the net. Bowie's gonna skate it up. Trying to clear it up, but not out. Kept in by Dylan Seymour. Seymour, short side, goes behind the net. That was a very close bid by Chickapee Comp. And that's going to be offside. Face off will be at the blue line. Yeah, what I like out of Chickabee Comp, I like their four check. They're chasing, they're making body contact, they're getting in the way. So Greenfield's not having an easy time carrying it out. They're at the point now where you see a lot of guys coming around that net just trying to get some momentum to get that puck out of the zone. Face off at the Greenfield blue line on the offside call against Chickabee Comp. Puck dumped back into the Greenfield end. McCulver now with it. Mikey. Trying to flip it out of the zone and does. Back to center ice. This is Nick Farrell. Lobs it in, gloved down by Drew. Wave will start off behind their own net. Up the boards, looking for Pruzak on the right wing. Pruzak loses control of it. Kept in nicely by Chickapee Comp. Being very aggressive on the four check. Now Greenfield is going to swing the net. Lost at the dot. McGoldrick now. Comp bearing in a shot and a save as a turnover in the wrong part of town. And now we got some sticks up behind the net as Josh King very nearly tied it. Yeah, it looked like Seymour wanted to knock somebody the next week there. And lucky that he got out of the way. Uh, but again, Comp is doing a good job on the four check and Greenfield just struggling to get out of the zone right now. 9.08 to go in period two. Greenfield 1-0 on a goal by MJ Pollen. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. That goes behind the net. Kevin Bauman up on right wing. Kept in though, and a nice hit at the blue line by Mason Whithead. And now Carson Langloy trying to swing it out. Broken up and cleared by Greenfield. Gerard tried to clear it up for Comp and it goes into the Greenfield bench. Good idea for Greenfield coming out of the zone. They cross it all the way to the other side of the ice. The, the pass was just a little too far ahead of Greenfield. And it went back to the Chickabee Comp defenseman. We got Bowen out there centering O'Sullivan and Roach and Will Height and Kevin Bauman on defense. Puck still loose at the blue line. O'Sullivan goes after it, trying to get it in. Bauman now pushes it down behind the comp net. Greenfield got away when they are. They're clearly offside. Roach now with it behind the net. Roach tries for a short side shot, blocked. Roach still has it. Trying to slide it in front, broken up by the comp defender. Forced up and out to center ice. Kevin Bauman battling with Tanner Fournier at center ice. Sends it back in to the Greenfield zone. Or the comp zone, rather. Mason Whithead trying to clear it up the boards. Broken up by Bauman. Bauman takes an elbow from Whithead, no call. O'Sullivan oh. in front to Roach. Roach could not get it. Pass was a bit behind him. Now Kevin Bauman bumping with the comp player. Kevin knocks it back down behind the net. Roach after it. Roach with it. Roach at the dot. He's been out there for a while. Will Hunt shot from the points blocked in front and skated up but not out. Brian Bauman now. Bauman in the dot. Short side shot saved by Canavan. He covers up and they'll face it off with 7.40 to go in the period. Nice play by Greenfield there. They're obviously winded. But they kept pushing, they kept pushing, and they almost knocked one in. Another good play by Bauman. Yeah, that was an inordinately long shift for that group that was out there. 
I think Greenfield's got to really start looking for their point men in the offensive zone. They've been left open lately. Back to the point. Wrist shot saved by Kenavan. Rebound over the net as that one was labeled. And now Lenoy tries to center it. Broken up and cleared out by Chickaby Comp. This is David Gerard now into Greenfield territory. Gerard at the dot. Shot goes wide. Second shot. Save. And a faceoff will be to the right of Riley Drew. And that one was very close. That, that was a solid offensive play. Good play by Drew. He knocked the uh, post off the moorings. And we see that all the time. That's a Todd Boynton label. And uh, it kind of helps stop the play. If that puck is put on net, we get a tie game. Faceoff is to the right of Riley Drew. Quick line change for Greenfield as the Barnes line comes off. Draw controlled by Greenfield. And skating it out is Jake Bryant. Jake Bryant at the point. Wrist shot deflected into the netting. And there will be a faceoff inside that calm territory. I kind of like what I'm seeing from Bryant tonight. I know he's a strong defensive player, but he's really trying to get that offense going tonight. And that'll just move Greenfield up to another level. Mike Clancy and Baum in the line out there. Quick shot from the point, covered by Canavan. As bearing in was Bauman takes a little poke from Nick Farrell. Well, Bowman took a little swing at the goal. He got a little swing taken at him. That's okay. That's hockey. Face off to the left of Canavan. Bowman on the draw. He's got Bowie Harris out there on D along with Jacob Bryant. Puck goes into the corner. And Farrell slams it around the boards. Bryant keeps it in. Falls down. Still down, and the puck is finally cleared out of the Greenfield end. No icing. Bowie Harris back to get it behind the net. And he goes up the left wing boards, kept in by Chickaby Comp. Back down low to Dylan Seymour. Comes all the way around the net, though. Greenfield clears. Nice headman pass to Will Height. Will Height hooked off the play, and the puck is cleared back down to the Greenfield end. Bryant now will cycle back from his own end. Headman pass for Brian Bauman. Bauman in the Comp territory. Bauman. Knocks it down low. Bauman still with it behind the net. Still pursuing. Bumping in the corner. Going to help out is Will Height. Comes back around and sent back the other way. Farrell now with it. Farrell tries to backhand it up, but not out. Bowie Harris with it. Harris brings it down low. Stops. Has a slide in front. Nice defensive play by Farrell, who slid across Ray Bork style and blocked it. Shot from the point by McColdrick and a save by Canavan, and he covers up with 6.01 to go. More solid play from Greenfield in the offensive zone. The point men are really, really getting in the offense tonight. I love it. I think that's going to give an opportunity. We saw that play earlier I was talking about. Brian took a low shot, hit the pads in the butterfly style. Rebound was there. It just didn't hit the net in the rebound. Face off to the right of Canavan. The Savoy line out there with O'Sullivan and Roach. Back to the boards. Quick wrist shot from the point is blocked. And now here's the head man break. Langlois after it, forced to the boards. It goes behind the net. Da Daniel Stefanik is after it for Comp. And Greenfield tries to clear, and they do. Up ahead to O'Sullivan, hanging up by the red line. O'Sullivan spins away from containment and knocks it into Comp territory. Shano on a four check. Whithead goes up the boards, and Comp is just able to clear it out. This is Colby Spear now, battling on the near on the far boards, rather. And this is going to be an offside as he was one step ahead of his wingman. We got about five minutes, 23 seconds left in the second period. Greenfield did what they wanted to do. They scored in the first five minutes. They took that one nothing lead, and the teams have really played even ever since. The way they're playing D right now, one will get it done. But they would ideally like to put a couple more in behind Canavan. Faceoff goes down behind the Greenfield net. MJ Pollen, goal scorer in this game. Tries to push it up the boards, and it's knocked back down behind the net. Kevin Bauman comes over to help out. Looking to get it up to Pruzak on the near boards. Pruzak getting help from Barnes and Lenoy. Lenoy goes behind the net. Actually, this is Kevin Bauman now will stop behind his own net and try to cycle back out. Up ahead and backhanded up to Pruzak. Pruzak at the blue line, two on two. Pruzak is there. He's got Barnes in the slot. Puck goes through everybody and goes back up to the blue line and cleared out by Comp. 
Holland back with it now. Cross ice to Kevin Bauman. Headband pass. That goes to Barnes. Barnes, a wrist shot. Save. Canavan didn't quite see it. Pruzak follows the rebound. Centering pass. Blocked. And the Colts try to clear. That's Gerard, David Gerard, able to get it out of the, out of the zone. Sent right back in by Greenfield. 4.18 to go in the period. 1-0. Wave. Whithead now. Up the boards. Kept in by Bryant. And penalty coming up. This is going to be on who? It's interference penalty. And who are they going to get? Looks like Wilhite. Yep, Matt Wilhite will go for interference with 4.02 left. So Greenfield will once again have to kill off a penalty. Yeah, tough break there because Bryant came in, the puck went straight up. And when the puck came down, Wilhite just kind of guessed that the Chickabee comp player was going to take that puck. He didn't. Knocked him over. Two minute power play with four minutes left in the second period. Face off is to the left of Riley Drew. So good opportunity here for Comp to tie this game. Off the draw, quick shot, blocked in front. Second effort, blocked in front. Oh, best bit of the night for the Comp Colts so far. Behind the play, Bryant just gave Riley Drew a uh, knuckles because that was a great save. The second shot had a chance to go in, but Drew dragged that pad. Now the Comp Colts on the four check. Up ahead to Josh King. King ahead, shot. Did it go in? Or did the net dislodge? Uh, did not go in and the net was dislodged. It was a nice save by Drew, but he kept it between his pads outside the net. I was gonna say, that one looked like it was headed for the net. That was Tom's best opportunity. It was a great pass between two defensemen. Had a breakaway, really, just a short one. And Drew was able to make the save. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. Again, Greenfield has not been scored upon in 13 periods of hockey. 14 if they get to the end of this period. 1.26 to go on the man advantage. Stefanik now with it. Knocked off the puck briefly by Savoy. Stefanik now will come out of his own end. Up ahead to Nick Farrell. Nick Farrell slams it down to the Greenfield zone. No icing. McColdrick back to get it. And Mikey slams it right back down to the comp end of the building. Greenfield does a really good job in this penalty kill. They just have one man for checking, and the second guy reacts to whatever side of the puck he goes, and they're having a tough time getting through this. Farrell now goes cross ice looking for Gerard. First one there is Bowman. Knocks it into comp territory. He almost put it on his own net there. Dylan Seymour now. Headman pass for David Gerard for Chicopee Comp on the left side. Gerard at the point. Goes cross ice. Now from the left board, the shot goes behind the net. And Greenfield's able to clear it out. 30 seconds to go on the man advantage for Chickapee Comp. Stefanik now with it. Up ahead looking for Jacob Gerard in front of the Greenfield bench. Kicked loose and dumped in on Drew. Directs it into the corner. 10 seconds to go on the Will Height penalty. Back to the point, wrist shot. Knocked aside by Drew, that was Nick Farrell with that shot. Farrell has it again at the left point. Let's it go again. Drew blocks it aside and we are all even at five apiece. Greenfield clears down onto Canavan. Quick line change for the wave. 1.52 to go. Now here's a steal, O'Sullivan in the high slot. O'Sullivan with it, O'Sullivan shot just wide. Bowie Harris backhands it back down low. As the Wave looking for goal number two. And it's backhanded out. Jake Bryant back to get it. Goes back up to Roach on the left wing. Roach loses control in the neutral zone. And Tanner Fournier now gets back into the comp, comp end of the building. And clearing pass broken up by Kevin Bauman. Now Bryant with it with a steal. Bryant, high slot. Bryant, one man to beat. Broken up on a nice poke check. And a whistle and a hooking call. Yeah, that was a good call there. Bryant was bringing the puck up all by himself, trying to go through two defense, but one of the defensemen just grabbed him. You could actually see him almost lose his glove and have to switch holding of his stick. So good call, clearly a hooking call. And Greenfield has a chance to notch it up to 2-0 with just a minute 14 left, and the penalty will be for two minutes. Carson Langloy, who got called for the hook. So Pruzak is out there on the power play along with Bauman. Back to the point to McColdrick. Mikey McColdrick. 
at the point. Loses control of it. Now ahead to Pruzak. Pruzak out there with Brian Bauman behind the net. Bauman out with it. Bauman back to Pruzak on the near boards. And coming up to get it is Kevin Bauman. Avoids a hit. Brian Bauman comes out of the corner. Slides it across. Skips over the stick of the breaking McGoldrick. Back to the point. At the dot, Bauman, wrist shot, deflected wide. Kevin Bauman bumps behind the net. Mike McColdrick at the left point with it. McColdrick to Bauman. Bauman goes cross ice. After it is Kevin Bauman. On the slide in front, backhander goes into the corner. As 30 seconds left in the period. Rainfield on a power play. Kevin Bauman now behind the net to Bryan. Brian back to the point to McGoldrick. McGoldrick trying to slide it down low to Brian Bauman. Now McGoldrick back at the point. Wrist shot, a slap shot, same. Score on the rebound! And it's 2 nothing. Another great play by Greenfield. This is what I was talking about. They pass the puck back to the point. Low shot, goalie's gonna go down, butterfly style. He leaves a rebound, Greenfield pounces on it and goes up 2 nothing. Only nine seconds left in the period. You hate to give up a goal with less than 10 seconds to go in a period, but Greenfield with a big a big goal, two now in this period, and it's 2 nothing Wave with nine seconds left to go in the game. The rebound off the McColdrick shot. And faceoff goes back into Greenfield territory. And Bryant's just gonna pin it there, and that's how the period will end. So Greenfield, Two unanswered goals in the second period. At the end of two periods, it's Greenfield two. Chicken be count nothing. We'll take a break, come back, and recap the second period. This is Hockey Night in Greenfield. Brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. I didn't see you knocking the rebound. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. We still got one period left to play here, and despite the fact that Greenfield appeared to really take control of that second period, they're only up by a couple of goals, a couple of bounces the right way, and comps right back in this game. They are. I'm actually still in shock that they're still playing the Super Bowl with the Patriots out, but I guess someone will be watching. <laughs> but but this is uh, Greenfield just got a couple more shots. The first period, the shots were 9-7 and into Greenfield. Second period, 11-7. So it's still a close period, still a close game. Greenfield's playing better. Chickabee Comp just has that irritating defense, and they're doing a good job keeping the puck in the zone when they get it there. And really, the, the key here is the first five minutes. You know, if Greenfield's able to put another one in the back of the net, that might be the end of the line for Chickabee Comp. And if Chickabee Comp's able to, to knock one pass through for the first time in four and a half games, then we get a game in our hands. Victor Canavan's played well for Chickabee Comp. He's only missed two shots. Yeah, he's kind of getting lost in the conversation because we have, you know, Mr. Goose Egg down the other end. <laughs> but he has played well. He's, he's done a good job. The puck has kind of snuck out. Uh, from his pads, but if, when you get in a hard slap shot from the point, goalies can't catch that. It's gonna, it's gonna go off the pads. Greenfield's using it to their advantage, and they've, they've got a couple good rebound chances. The one made the back of the net. The Savoy line will start this period. Savoy centering O'Sullivan and Roach, McColdrick on defense, along with the aforementioned Kevin Bauman. And period three is underway. Faceoff controlled by Greenfield. O'Sullivan now gets a pass from Roach, and he's into comp territory. Backhands in front, turnaround shot by Savoy. Goes wide of the net. He was 
knocked into by the chicken become defenseman and comp clears the zone. Back out to center ice. Here come the Colts. And McGoldrick with it now. Pushes it up and out of the zone. Now, here comes O'Sullivan, left wing. Streaking down the left side, slides it in front. Shot blocked in front. Second effort by Roach. Puck is on the, hemmed in actually, and now skated out by Chickabee Comp. Gerard flips it in to the Greenfield zone. Kevin Bauman after it. Bauman up the boards for O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan slams it back around the net. The far boards, centering pass deflected by Drew. Off the near wall, O'Sullivan bumping with Farrell. And now the puck goes out in front in the slot. Shot, score! Dylan Seymour, and that's the end of the scoreless streak as a turnover in the high slot, and Seymour got it past Drew, and it's 2-1. Nice play by Chickabee Comp. You can't take it away from him. Gerard was fighting, battling the puck on the side, and you could, he could see Seymour just kind of sitting there in the high slot. He made a good deke, and I'll tell you, Seymour went down on his knees, scored from his knees, surprised Drew from getting that shot off, I think, and just a minute in, it's now a 2-1 game. No goose egg pie tonight. It's 2-1, and Comp is right back into this game. And off the draw, Bowie Harris comes in, shot goes wide to the net, puck comes over the far boards. And up the board, back to the point, shot by Bryant is saved by Canavan. Rebound again with the near wall, Colby Spear. Hemmed up with Wilhite over there. Puck slides across ice, and Stefanik is able to clear it out. All the way down to Bryant. Bryant now. Back up the boards and out. Bauman now with it. Bauman beats one man. Bauman in, shot, score! What an effort by Brian Bauman up the left wing boards, roofed it, and it's 3 1. What a good way to come back by Greenfield. Scored less than a minute later from when Comp broke the goose egg, made it 2 to 1. And I was talking earlier about getting Woolhite on the score sheet. There it was. Woolhite made the pass from the from his own defensive zone to Bauman in center ice. Bauman took it in. Shot perfectly up in the upper right-hand corner of the net. So 3-1. So scores by Paulin, Lenoy, and now Brian Bauman. Streaking down the left wing and a good, good move to beat the defenseman. The Barnes line is out there now as Greenfield retakes the two-goal lead. Clearing pass by Rice is blocked. Shot saved by Drew, and again, a turnover results in a scoring opportunity. Yeah, Greenfield just got to be a little bit better with the puck in their defensive zone. We've been talking about Chickabee Comp and their strong forecheck, but Greenfield still giving up that soft play. They're just they're just not 100% in in their def defensive zone. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. David Gerard on the draw for Comp. Goes into the corner, goes behind the net. Slammed around. And Lenoy is able to backhand up. Now here's a break. A breakaway shot saved by Canavan. <laughs> As Pruzak stuck behind everybody. That was a nice set play by Greenfield. That was a blind pass, but it was perfect because they knew what they're going to do. Was, you see that in the Bruins games all the time. They call that a stretch pass. And now Pruzak with it on the left wing. Oh, excuse me, that's uh, Barnes. Barnes behind the net in the corner. And Comp is able to clear it out. Head man to Josh King. King pushes it into the corner. McColdrick, though is there, McColdrick knocks King down, up the left side to Lenoy and out. All the way down to Canavan who plays it, slams it to the left wing boards, and Gerard now with it. Gerard back to the point. Backhander wide of the net, actually gloved down by Drew as Dylan Seymour looking for number two on the night. Yeah, another great play by Seymour. If Seymour was able to put that back in the net, that would be one of your favorite moments. I think the goalie might have gotten an assist on that one. That's right. <laughs> Face off is to the left of Drew. Langley on the draw against Bellman. And puck forced to the boards and out. Camden Robinson back being pursued by Aiden Roach. Roach gets there first. Over skates though. O'Sullivan now. Battling in the corner. And it is cleared out. Now Roach. Dishes it back to Kevin Bauman. Headman pass, tape the tape to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan on the left wing. O'Sullivan streaking into the corner, trying to slide it in front, blocked. 
to the board. Savoy knocking around behind the net, trying to knock it loose. And it's skated out by Chickabee Comp. Three on two break. And they backhand it in on Drew, who will cover it. That was Jake Gerard who took that in. It was kind of a weak backhander and no problem for Drew. Yeah, Drew got up a little slow there. I don't know if it was uh, a little bit of a weird stretch for him, but he uh, seems to be all right. Obviously, he's going to stay in the net. Face off to the left to Riley Drew, 3-1. Greenfield with the lead. Face off goes into the corner. Jake Bryant lifts it out. He's looking to set up Sammy Knight at center ice. The cop steals it back. Now David Gerard cycles back up through his own slot. Passes to the defenseman. They clear the zone. Back after it's Harris. Harris goes cross ice to Brian. Brian looking for a headband pass for, Kevin, for Brian Bauman. Centering pass in front. Skips over the stick. And the backhander goes wide of the net. Back to the point, Bryant, wrist shot. Deflected wide by Canavan. Harris, on the far side, tries to pass it in front, and it's flipped out by Chickabee Comp. 10.37 to go in the game, Greenfield, 3-1. This is actually gonna be icing. We'll bring it down and face it off to the left of Canavan. Another good play by the appointment of Greenfield. Bryant got that shot, just happened to hit his own man in front, but again, Greenfield's really crashing that net just to try and make it difficult for Canavan to see. Barnes line is out there. Barnes, Pruzak, and Lenoy. And McGoldrick on defense, along with Kevin Bauman. Off the draw. Lenoy now, or Barnes rather, behind the net. Lenoy in, bar in front. Barnes behind the net, circling. Back to McGoldrick. McGoldrick shot blocked. Now Barnes still after it on the near wall. Trying to cycle it out, and it's pushed out by Chickabee Comp. And they dump it into the Greenfield zone. Puck squirts through. McCulver now on the slot. Backhands it up the boards to Pruzak. Pruzak up the right side. Pruzak trying to split the D. And it's broken up, and the puck is cleared up into the net. And this is going to be a face-off inside Chickabee Comp territory. Exactly, 10 minutes left in the game. And Greenfield's really starting to change these lines a lot quicker. They want to keep fresh every time there's a chance. We've had a lot of play in this time with not many whistles. So when you get the opportunity for a whistle, get a fresh body out there, do it. Savoy O'Sullivan and Roach, the line out there now with MJ Pollen on defense on the left point. Face off one by Chickabee Comp. Pollen's able to keep it in though. Savoy now bumping behind the net. Sullivan, O'Sullivan back to help him. O'Sullivan comes away with it. Back up to the point to Kevin Bauman. Back to O'Sullivan on the right wing board. O'Sullivan beats one man but loses control of the puck. And Tanner Fournier pushes it to the boards and up ahead to David Girard. MJ Pollen now back to Kevin. Kevin Bauman looking to head man it. He clears the zone. Puck now over in front of the penalty box. And Savoy up ahead to Roach, Roach now at the dot. Roach spins away, slides in front, shot wide. As Savoy was right there, but just could not get it on net. Now with Sullivan behind the net. Brian Bauman's out there now in a quick change. Back to the point. Pollen is able to knock it back down low. Although it's deflected back up and out by Chickabee Comp. This is Dylan Seymour. Seymour, high slot, shot is blocked. Goes to the boards, behind the net. And Fournier is after it. Fournier sends it back around the Greenfield side. Now O'Sullivan's been out there for a long time on the left wing. Get some help from Bauman. O'Sullivan shot, blocked wide by Canavan. Semi Knight now on a four check on the right wing boards. Bauman comes out with it to the point to Bryant. Shot save, rebound, score! Brian Bauman off the rebound and it's 4-1. It's pretty obvious that Greenfield is really trying to keep those shots from the point low, forcing the goalie to make the save. That's the second time off the pads of the goaltender. Greenfield grabs the rebound, puts it in the back of the net. They now have a 4-1 to one lead, and we're almost halfway through the third period. Second goal of the night for Bauman. Second goal, actually, of this period for Bauman. And it's 4-1, to one, Greenfield. 
8.23 to go in this one. So another insurance goal for the Wave. The Barnes line is out there. And the faceoff goes back to Kevin Bauman in his zone end. Over to Bowie Harris. Bowie up ahead to Barnes. Barnes in the neutral zone. Now into comp territory. Barnes still with it. Takes a bump. Puck loose on the far boards. Near boards, rather, and out. Actually, back to get it on defense is Nick French. French up ahead. And Puck squirts out. Ooh, Barnes laid into one of the comp players as he finishes check with authority. Now a hit at center ice. And that's going to be Carson Langlois who's going to go as that may have been retaliation for that hard hit by Barnes. And Carson will have a seat. Yeah, unfortunately, the worst thing you see in hockey is a leg check, and that's what just happened. It's a tripping call, but, you know, you're hitting knee to knee. You can cause some serious damage there, so hopefully the uh, Greenfield player is okay. That was Lenoy, I think, that took that leg check. And the faceoff will come down to the left of Canavan. With 7.48 to go in the game, two-minute power play for Greenfield. And the power play unit of Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach is out there along with Bryant and Harris on defense. Draw goes back. O'Sullivan shot, or Roach rather, shot goes wide. Goes to the far board. Bauman now with it in the corner. Bauman to Roach. They switch off. Bauman now back to Bryant. Bryant, low shot, save Canavan. Rebound comes back out to Bauman. Back to the point to Bowie. Harris, wrist shot, deflected wide at the far boards. And Comp is able to clear it out. I think Greenfield's really taking advantage of their, they're just in better shape, it looks like. They really got their win going. And I think Chickabee Comp struggling to keep up. Bauman now with it up the right wing, flying into Comp territory. Bauman behind the net. He's got two goals this period. Swings it into the corner. O'Sullivan over to help out. Back to the point, skips over Bryant's skate. And Bowie Harris comes back to get it for Greenfield. 107 to go in the man advantage. And 6.51 to go in the game. O'Sullivan now with it. O'Sullivan skates it up. O'Sullivan into comp territory. O'Sullivan behind the net. Slides it in front. Deflected wide. Deflected away by Canavan. Shot from the point. Tipped wide to the far boards. Greenfield getting some fresh legs out there. Kevin Bauman down low with it. Now on the near boards. Coming back out. Shot just wide as... Roach came out and let it fly. Roach still after it. Back to McColdrick at the point. McColdrick back down the boards. Out there now is Lenoy. Slide in front. Back to the point. Kevin Bauman, a one-timer. And it's gloved down by Canavan. They'll face it off to his left with 20 seconds to go on the Greenfield power play. Good puck control by Greenfield on this power play. They really controlled the play outside. They used the point men well. They just, they've got 20 seconds left to really put up another one, and uh, I'd like to see it on senior night. Let's get some of these seniors on the ice. Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach. The unit out there along with Kevin Bauman and McColdrick. Back to McColdrick. Mikey with it. Over to Roach. Roach, shot, deflected wide and out of the rink. Actually hit the netting, and they'll face it off next to Canavan with 12 seconds to go on the Langway power, a Langway penalty. Bowen's doing a good job in, in the uh, center position. He's winning most of these face-offs down here, which is able to keep Greenfield in control of the puck and get, they're looking at another quality shot off with 12 seconds left on the penalty. Bowman now talking with Roach. And now he comes back to the spot. Draw goes back to Roach. Roach loses control and it's skipped out. It's gonna be offside, but Comp slams it down to the Greenfield end of the ice, and that will do it on the power play. 5.47 to go in this one. We're all even at five apiece. Headman pass for O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan now bumped off the play nicely by Stefanik, and Greenfield will start up in the neutral zone. O'Sullivan now tries to slide it in front, looking for Bauman. Bauman on the gore step. Backhander saved by Canavan. Bauman looking for the natural hat trick. Back to the point. Harris, back to Bauman, high slot. Bauman shot, save, Canavan, score on the rebound by O'Sullivan, who was camped, and it's 
Yeah, that one, it looked like Batman was going to take the shot. I don't think the shot got all the way through to Canavan. I think O'Sullivan stopped it, chipped it in past the goalie. The goalie was a little surprised. He expected to make that first that first save, but now we're looking at a 5-1 game, and what a breakout period for the Greenfield Green Wave. Senior Sean O'Sullivan gets a goal on Senior Knights to add to the list. And the Burns line is back out there. Draw one by Greenfield. And the puck is cleared down and bumped back out by the comp defender. Now Barnes back uh, slams it down in behind the net. Five minutes to go in this one. Nick Farrell tries to go up the boards, up but not out. And pushed up ahead by Tanner Fournier. Back to get it is Nick French. French is up the right wing over the stick of Kruzak. And we got a penalty, a slash. And another penalty on... Chickabee comp, this time Tanner Fournier goes away. Yeah, really, that, that penalty was behind the play. I think it was more of a frustration penalty than anything else. Just a silly penalty. You're down 5-1, to one, you don't need that. And it just kind of changes the game. So now Greenfield has an opportunity for another power play. And it looks like they're putting out the uh, first power play unit. Um, but they're going to kind of teach a lesson for that cheap penalty. And Jacob Bryant's out there along with Bowie Harris on defense. So Bauman, O'Sullivan, and Roach. Roach! Off the shot, just wide, off the draw, and back to the point to Harris. Harris to Bauman, Bauman behind the net to Roach. Roach slides it in front, O'Sullivan shot blocked. Forced into the corner, Bauman after it. Back to the point to Harris, Harris cross ice to Bryant. Bryant, wrist shot, wide of the net. Comes all the way back around, Harris keeps it in at the right point. And the puck is deflected. Did up but not out. Bryant at the point. Slap shot blocked. And what do we have here? Another slashing penalty. This is going to be on Greenfield, though, as they're going to get O'Sullivan for a slash. So that negates the power play. Or excuse me, that was Bowie Harris. Yep, Bowie Harris taking a uh, trip to the sin bin. I didn't see that. Again, it looks like it was another uh, behind the play slash. And they're going to go now four on four for a minute and a half with just 420 left in the game. And this is really Chicken B. Comp's going to make something happen here. Face off to the right of Riley Drew. A minute 28 to go on the, the penalty on Chicken B. Comp and a fresh two minute penalty on Bowie Harris. Comp wins the draw. Shot. Oh, oh. it skipped over Drew. Oh, that one was a uh, just a strange carom. And that will end, that will get, uh, well, actually. I'm not sure who got that one. Was I think it's going to end up being with Nicholas Farrell. I think he shot it in. Seymour was there for the tip, didn't hit it, but it hit the uh, Greenfield defenseman and just fluttered in the air, kind of stuck past Drew, surprised everybody. Yeah, that one had eyes for it sure. It did have eyes, and, you know, we'll, we'll continue playing with four-on-four. Four. Nobody comes out of the penalty box when they're even strength. That's right. So still four-on-four, four, and now it's a five-to-two game. Bauman, O'Sullivan out there with McColdrick. And looks like Cam Rice for Greenfield. And now Kopp is able to knock it in. So two goals this period on Greenfield. 5-2 is the score. Puck goes behind the net. Slide it in front. And O'Sullivan is going to skate it up and out for Greenfield. O'Sullivan now beats one man. O'Sullivan on a rush. Shot saved by Canavan. Rebound cleared wide by Chickabee Comp. And this is David Girard now in the slot. Backhander blocked in front as Girard got hammered by O'Sullivan. Puck pushed to the far boards. Nick Farrell now with it. Farrell's shot gloved over the net by Drew. Another hit as Girard's taking some abuse. He comes out of the corner, gets knocked down again as that little guy's got some definite guts. Yeah, I think he's had enough. What does he do a change? I would. He got hammered in the boards. He got hammered in the corner. He got a shot on net. He got the rebound, and he got put down again. But great hustle. You got to give May plus for hustle. And he got plowed by Barnes earlier in the period, which led to one of the penalties against Chickabee Comp. Face off to the left of Riley Drew. 24 seconds to go on the Comp penalty. 56 seconds to go on the Harris penalty. So we'll play four on four for another 24 seconds. Draw goes into the corner. Pollen. Lifts it out. All the way down the night. This is going to be icy. We'll take a 30-second break. 
This is Hockey Night in Greenfield, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. No, no theme music coming back. Play back on. Bauman broke in, but was broken up with a nice bid. And Bryant slams the puck all the way around the boards, all the way down behind the comp net. The penalty to Chicopee Comp is over. 20 seconds to go on the Harris penalty. 2.38 to go in the game. 5-2 Greenfield with the lead. And Comp clears it up to center ice. Goes right back in. Oh, it Karam did on Canavan who directed it into the corner. And the penalty to Harris is now over. We are 5-on-5. Five five. Comp lifts the puck out to center ice. Harris touches it. In the neutral zone, Bauman comes over to help out. That's Kevin, and Jake Bryant goes behind his own net. Now goes up the boards, looking to hit Bowie Harris. Harris now into comp territory. Harris run down into the corner, and now some stick work behind the play as the puck goes into the corner. And Harris still jousting with King, and Shot is covered up, but Harris and King looked like they were going to go there for a second in the corner. Yeah, a little bit of uh, gamesmanship by both players, really trying to uh, push each other into the ground. But again, I mentioned it before, that's hockey. <laughs> yes, it is. Face off to the right of Canavan, 146 to go in the game. Will Heights out there along with Savoy. And the puck goes in on Canavan. He covers it up. And we'll do it all over again. Yeah, just a minute 42 left for Greenfield to put another notch in that belt, another win on the season. Bauman and O'Sullivan come out now. And now a timeout is called by one of these teams. Or Looks like they're going to be taking Riley Drew out of the game for senior night. Yes, they are. The so, entire bench of Greenfield has cleared to congratulate Riley Drew in the game, and uh, we now have a new goaltender for Greenfield. And the new goaltender's name is? <laughs> We're not sure. The number is Billy Woodall. Well, the faceoff is going to be to the right of Canavan. Minute 42 to go in this one. Pretty much academic. So Sullivan's out there along with Bauman and Wilhite. The draw goes back to the point. Shot by French is deflected out. Down into the greenfield end. French swings his own net. French. Up ahead to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan now cycles down behind his own net, slams it around to Wilhite. Back to the point. And Wilhite battling for it. Shot by Farrell goes to the far boards. And now Comp comes out with it. Puck is loose to the near boards. Farrell's shot tipped and a save. And Puck is behind the net as Greenfield trying to clear it. And they do flip it out. All the way down to Canavan. No icing. Less than a minute to play in the game. Headman pass, skips over the stick. Harris after it. Now to forecheck John Lewis. Lewis hammered by Bowie Harris into the wall. Still in Seymour with it, now a shot. Nice save. Deflected wide. Puck hemmed in behind Greenfield's net. 35 seconds left. And they clear it out. Will Height on a four check after it. Puck goes behind the net. Nick Farrell stops. Cuts back up the right side. Headman pass for Gerard. David Gerard skates through into Greenfield territory. And is broken up. Puck is forced to the boards by 
Brian Bauman. And now a battle for it in front of the Greenfield bench. And Will Height's going to ice it. And we'll bring it down and face it off with just four seconds left in this one. We'll put this one in the books as a W. Four seconds left. I'm, I'm pretty confident on that. But Greenfield really showed themselves tonight. You know, it's a sign of a good team that can start off a little slow, a little sluggish, not play their best hockey and walk away with a win. And, and you, you'll take that every now and then. Not every night, just every now and then. Face off to the right of the Greenfield net. 5-2 on the scoreboard. Four seconds to go here. Off the draw, shot and a save. But goes wide, and that will do it as the Greenfield Green Wave. The fun continues as the Wave wins again. They give up two goals, but they make five of their own. The final score, the Greenfield Green Wave five, Chicopee Comp two. We'll wrap it up in 90 seconds. This is Hockey Night in Greenfield, brought to you by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Back out here at Collins Boyle Arena, Chris Collins, Todd Howard, studio producer, is Dave Reno. The Greenfield Green Wave win again. They do surrender two goals, but they get five of their own, and they come back and uh, they beat the Chickabee Comp Colts by a score of five to two. A kind of a listless first period, but Greenfield came out in the second, all business. Goals by MJ Pollen, Derek Lenoy, two from Brian Bauman, and then Sean O'Sullivan with a, a, a goal to make the fifth tally and get a couple an insurance uh, goal. And so the Greenfield Green Wave comes out and they uh, take care of business again. Take care of business. <laughs> you stole the words right out of my mouth to say the same thing. But that's pretty much what they did. They didn't play their best game, but they played well enough to win. Again, another balanced attack from Greenfield. They had four different goal scorers. You know, in high school hockey, though, you don't see that very often. And I really like the balance that they're playing with. And I really think they're going to be a force uh, come playoff time. And they may steal that number one seed. I think they've earned it. So our next broadcast will be in two weeks, and this is one that's been circled on a lot of calendars, I'm sure, as the Amherst Hurricanes come to Greenfield to take on the Green Wave. We're going to have that game for you, and uh, it'll start right around 6.30 with the pregame show as the Hurricanes come to town and the Wave with a score to settle from last year. And it should be a very entertaining contest. It might be a precursor to the finals of Western Mass if you want to put predictions on the table. It's entirely possible. So that will do it for our broadcast of Hockey Night in Greenfield from Collins Bowling Arena. From my broadcast partner, Todd Howard, studio producer, Dave Reno. I'm Chris Collins. The final score for the final time, Greenfield defeats Chickabee Comp by a count of 5-2. to two. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena Skate Doctor here. Thanks, first of all, to Chris Collins and Todd Howe from Bear Country Radio for the awesome play-by-play -play they did tonight. Props to them, as always. Glad to have them here in the house. Senior night here at the CMA. Green Wave take it 5-2 to two over a very tough Chicopee Comp Colts team. Comp had been struggling a little bit with their last few games, but they managed to really play tough and held the Green Wave in check for most of the night tonight. Green Wave, of course, came into this one on a six-game winning streak, having outscored their opponents 33-4 to over those six games. Let's take a look at the goals that were scored tonight. Well, we're not going to show you anything from that first period. Teams went off the ice, tied 0-0. to -0. The only things of note in the first period were two penalties, one each way. Jacob Bryant went off for interference, and the Chicopee Comp had a penalty for too many men on the ice. One of the rare times this season, the visitors, Chicopee Comp, outshot Greenfield 9-7 in that first frame. 
When the second period got started, MJ Paulin scored his first varsity goal for Green Wave. Nice low shot from the blue line through traffic. Assist on that one went to Kevin Bowman, so the two defensemen each got a point there. Gave Greenfield a 1-0 lead. Following that, Derek Lenoy's scored a beautiful power play goal. Mikey McGoldrick took a shot from the point. Goalie made the save for comp. Derek was right there to collect the loose change and put the green wave up two to nothing, which is how the second period ended. To get the third period underway, comp scored one minute into the, the final frame. And what made that really notable was it broke the shutout streak of Riley Drew. Over 250 minutes of shutout hockey by Riley. Now, in a 45 minute game, that equates to almost six full games that Riley had pitched a shutout. Uh, Dylan Seymour, for comp, he was positioned in the high slot, got a wrist shot off low on Riley's glove side. That closed the margin to two to one. But uh, the Green Wave rallied and 41 seconds later, Captain Bram Bowman broke down the left side and he returned the favor going high glove, gave the Green Wave their two goal margin back at a three to one lead. Later in the third period, Brian Bowman scored his second goal of the night when he cleaned up a Jacob Bryant wrist shot from the point which gave the Green Wave a four to one lead and there's really no looking back at that point. A little bit later on, Sean O'Sullivan got the deflection off of Brian Bowman shot, so another three point night for Brian Bowman. Uh, Sully's goal gave the Green Wave a five to one lead and after a couple of penalties late in the third period, a four on four situation, Nick Farrell from Chicopee Comp scored, made it five to two. Later in the third period here at senior night, senior Jordan LaValle took the net for the last couple minutes. Jordan made a few saves, it was a good time. And that really wrapped it up here from the CMA, five to two in favor of the Green Wave. Their winning streak is now at seven. The Green Wave are off until this coming Thursday when they have a road game. They'll be down at the Mullen Center practice rink to take on the Belchertown Orioles. Early one, face-off time is four o'clock on that one. But that's going to wrap it up from the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. I'd like to thank Alec Eckel from Epcat Media. As I said earlier, Chris Collins and Todd Howe from Bear Country Radio. I am the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, saying thanking you for your time this time. And until next time, good night from Greenfield. <laughs>